Well, get ready for a big change in the weather pattern. We go from a seasonably cool Sunday today in the 50s right down the roller coaster. Yes, we're riding down into the 30s, but that really doesn't do the full justice. We're going to have a windy couple of days coming up and that will make it feel even colder outside than what the numbers actually show. So to get ready, you want to dress warm on your Monday tomorrow and again on Tuesday. A heavy winter coat, if you haven't gotten it out already, it's a good idea to make sure you have it because we're going to have windy conditions making it feel like 20 degrees outside during the afternoon. Hat, gloves, and scarf, absolutely necessary if you have to be outside, but definitely Tuesday I think might even be the cold colder day of the week in addition to that. Now we're dealing with a few rain showers outside right now. I actually heard the rain coming down pretty good on the roof of our studio here in Charleston. Zooming in on it, there have been a few steady downpours coming out of the coal fields. One of them just over the city of Charleston right now at this point, and that is briefly some heavy rain, but that's not going to last all that much longer. The big picture shows that once our rain showers end tonight, we're going to have a drop in temperatures and an increase in the wind gusts. A cold front now making its way through Ohio will do two things. It will dry out the air, but it will also increase the winds. And part of that, when temperatures drop, with any remaining moisture, will allow for a few snowflakes out there as well. But you see all these blue lines here on the screen? Well, if they get really close together, like you see in this projection, that allows the air to travel very quickly across them. This white arrow here, strong winds on your Monday. 15 to 20 miles an hour will provide a chill to the air as well. And heading into Tuesday, the lines actually get a little bit closer or tighter together. That could make it feel even colder outside with dropping temperatures too. So an early taste of winter is on the way. We finally get some spread here in the picture as we head into Wednesday. The winds calm down, the sun comes out, and it gets a little bit nicer outside too. But if you're looking for something warmer to do on your Monday night, head to St. Albans for the Festival of Lights. Yes, you'll be able to drive your car right through the park. Temperatures outside will be in the 20s, but at least you'll get to enjoy the beautiful light display here into the coming days, 6 o'clock to 9 o'clock in St. Albans. Here is your future cast, and yes, we are looking at the possibility for a couple light snow showers here in Charleston and some of the lower elevations. Perhaps mixed with rain, there's not a lot of moisture left, so we're not expecting accumulations here in the lower elevations. By the afternoon, we improve in terms of a lack of snow, but clouds stick around, maybe a few flurries in our northern counties here Monday night, and that's basically the story for the snow. We could see that into Tuesday, but the big factor will be dropping temperatures and increasing wind gusts too. It could feel like very chilly, 14 to 15 degrees early Tuesday morning. It's a possibility. We get some afternoon sunshine, but wind chills will stick into the 20s there as you head into the evening as well. So definitely need to be prepared for the cold weather. You put 25 mile an hour winds on a day where the air temperature is barely in the 30s. I mean, it could feel really uncomfortable outside. This is for Tuesday here and really not much relief at all during the afternoon. It's going to feel frigid outdoor. Make sure if you have any outdoor activities, you just move them inside or find another day to do them. Hold off on your decorating. That would be the best idea for your Tuesday as well. No real chance for accumulation unless you're above 4,000 feet. Some of the ski resorts might get a little bit of help here from these mountain snow showers that continue. Our seven-day forecast does show that we get some relief by the middle of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, some sunshine back in the 50s. But December 1st, Friday, a next chance for a few rain showers around here and still seasonably comfortable for the weekend. Another system coming in late Sunday.